So when students are first learning logarithms, one of the first couple rules that we kind of teach them is that the natural logarithm of e is equal to one, right? Because again, if you ln or the natural logarithm has a base e. So if you were to rewrite this in exponential form, you'd have e to the first power is equal to e, and we know that works. Now, the next property that is so important that so many students remember is ln of e raised to the x is just going to equal to x. Again, this all makes sense if you just go ahead and rewrite it in exponential form. e to the x is equal to e to the x. So you can see how it works. But then we come to a problem like this, or a property like this, where it says e now raised to the ln of x is equal to x. Now, the quick, fast reasoning for this is the exponential and logarithms are inverse operations of each other. So if ln of e raised to the x is equal to x, then e raised to the ln of x is gonna x, right? They undo each other, they're inverse operations. But still, that uh, explanation does not satisfy a lot of students. So what I wanna do is let's go and continue or use our operations or use our properties of logarithms that we are aware of, that we like agree upon, right? I was able to verify these two properties of logarithms by writing them in exponential form to understand why e raised to the ln of x is equal to x. So first thing I wanna do is say like, all right, let's pretend we don't know that it's equal to x, right? So let's go, it's gonna equal to one variable. Let's go ahead and pick y. Okay, now we know from solving exponential equations that whenever we have a power or a variable in the power, we wanna get rid of that. We wanna get that off as a power. We're gonna to wanna to take the logarithm of both sides. Now, since I have a base e, you know, what just kind of going on from here using this one, we're gonna wanna take the natural logarithm of that base e because that's gonna get rid of the argument e and it's there and it's gonna take this ln of x down below. Okay, now we can definitely go ahead and understand like what, what do you mean that just goes away? Well, maybe you're like, I'm not sure. Why does this like just go to one, right? I understand kind of this works, but how would it work over here? Well, you could also use another rule to represent that, which would be the product rule. Okay, and the product rule basically just says whenever you have an argument raised to a power, you can rewrite that in front as a product of that logarithm. Okay, and I'm just writing log base 10. I mean, it could be any base or it could be a natural logarithm. It doesn't really matter. Actually, you know what? To keep things consistent, let's go ahead and use this as a natural logarithm. Okay, I don't wanna overly confuse people over here. So what that means is I can now take this and read it, write it in front. And then hopefully you recognize here, ln of e, right, is equal to one. So we're gonna get the exact same thing if you just say this goes away and it gets ln of x equal to y. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to take the ln of both sides. It's a little tricky, I wonder if anybody caught that. So remember, when, it, when you take the ln of both sides, you get to take ln over here, as well as the ln over here. I wanted to get to my explanation so fast that uh, I skipped it. So make sure you go back to that. Okay, so now ln of e is equal to one, that's the property of logarithm. So now we have ln of x is equal to the ln of y. Now we're gonna take us to the one-to-one uh, -one property. And what the one-to-one -one property says is when you have an isolated logarithm equal to another isolated logarithm, meaning there's no other like plus five or you know times two or anything else, when it's an ice, a logarithm all by itself, doesn't matter if it's natural logarithm, base 10, base seven, as long as you have a logarithm equal to a logarithm, then their arguments are gonna be equal to each other. So in this case, you have ln of x is equal to ln y. So therefore we can now say, x is equal to y. Now, why is this so important? Well, again, remember what we said here? We said e raised to ln of x is equal to y. Well, guess what? Now we can say y is equal to x. So therefore, we have now proven that this is a property of logarithms that we want to keep in our back pocket. So hopefully this video was helpful for you and it gave you some value. And if it did, then you're going to enjoy the next video.